Hello, this is Dr. Stanley Kim, the hematologist in Claremont, California. Lymphoma is the most common blood cancer originating from lymphatic tissues. It's divided into Hodgkin's lymphoma and the non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Because there are so many types, over 60, it's impossible to memorize all of them. So we will discuss uh, more commonly occurring uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Thank you so much for watching. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is originated from lymphatic system. They either of B-cell origin or T-cell and K-cell origin. All lymphocytes originate from blood stem cells in the bone marrow. After differentiating to uh, uh, progenitor cells, they leave bone marrow as a naive mature B-cells and then enter the uh, lymph nodes. After exposure to the antigen, they enter the follicle passing through the germinal center. Uh, those B cells become central blasts and the central sites inside the germinal center and become fully activated. After encountering the help of T cells, they differentiate to either memory B cells or plasma blasts and plasma cells. Diffuse large B cell lymphoma has two subtypes. The first one is a germinal center B cell like subtype. Uh, it's originated from central blast after BCL6 overexpression. Another subtype, activated B cell like uh, subtype, originate from the uh, activated B cell like a plasma blast. Uh, they have a BCR signaling. Follicular lymphoma originate from central sites in the germinal center of the follicle. They have a translocation chromosome 14 and 18, activating BCL2. Burkitt's lymphoma, highly aggressive uh, lymphoma, uh, originates from the uh, central blast in the germinal center. They have uh, semic overexpression. Mental cell is also aggressive lymphoma. They have a translocation of 11 and 14. They originate from naive mature B cell. The small lymphocytic lymphoma and the CLL are the basically same disease. It's, it's a relationship of uh, ice and water. They originate from memory B cells or uh, antigen exposed uh, uh, naive B cells. T cells also originate from the bone marrow uh, common lymphoid precursor cells. Leaving bone marrow as a pre thymocyte, uh, they enter the thymus and become thymocytes. And they differentiate into uh, CD4 helper T cells and CD8 cytotoxic T cells. Peripheral T cell lymphoma originate from the uh, activated uh, T cells like a CD4 or CD8. They have uh, several uh, subtypes. Most commonly, peripheral T cell lymphoma (NOS), anaphylactic large cell lymphoma, angioimmunoblastic T cell lymphomas, and others. Breast implant-associated anaphylactic large cell lymphoma received lots of media attention lately. They are originating from the uh, uh, activated T cells. And the patients with the rough surface implant capsules have a higher risk. Cutaneous T cell lymphoma, like a mycosis fungoides and the Caesarea symptoms, are originating from CD4 helper T cells. Adult T cell leukemia lymphoma is caused by the HTLB1 infection, they are originating from uh, common lymphoid precursor cells. T cell lymphoblastic leukemia lymphoma is very aggressive uh, lymphoma arising from the uh, blood stem cell or common lymphoid precursor cells. Clinically, uh, it's easy to divide to indolent and aggressive lymphoma. Indolent lymphomas grow slowly. Their lymphadenopathy waxes and wanes over months or years. Uh, in some cases, they transform to aggressive lymphoma. Indolent lymphomas include follicular lymphoma, small lymphocytic lymphoma, marginal zone lymphoma, cutaneous uh, T cell lymphomas. Aggressive lymphoma progresses rapidly, symptomatic. They include the uh, diffuse large B cell lymphoma, Burkitt lymphoma, uh, mental cell lymphoma, follicular lymphoma grade 3B, I will mention later on, peripheral T cell lymphoma and others. Chromosomal translocation between uh, 14 and 18 is the most common, found in 90% of follicular lymphoma and 30% of diffuse large B cell lymphoma. This activate the uh, BCL2 and BCL2 block the uh, apoptosis, so the inducing the uh, cell proliferation. 
Translocation 1114 is characteristic for mantle cell lymphoma. CMIC caused by translocation 814 is the characteristic and found in most of orchid lymphoma and some acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Epstein-Barr virus can cause orchid lymphoma. HDLB1 virus causes adult T-cell leukemia lymphoma. Human herpes virus 8 causes the body cavity-based lymphoma such as primary effusion lymphoma. Helicobacter pylori bacteria infection causes gastric malt lymphoma. After treatment, uh, most of lymphoma resolves. Hepatitis B and C are risk factors for the non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Many times the uh, uh, remission are reported after hepatitis C treatment. For evaluation of patients before treatment, good history and physically important, asking patients for B symptoms, checking the lymphoid tissues, and the full biopsy, lymph node excision of biopsy is the best. And the incisional or multiple core biopsies, biopsies are acceptable, but not the fine needle aspiration because we need to have a tissue examination. Lab include the uh, CBC, CMP, uric acid, phosphorus, LDH, especially beta-2 microglobulin predicts the prognosis. Check the hepatitis B and C serology, HIV, H. pylori, HDLB1. Peripheral blood smear, bone marrow examination for histologic examination, flow cytometry, fish and the uh, chromosomal abnormalities. For advanced follicular lymphoma patients, bone marrow biopsy may not be necessary because regardless of their bone marrow status, the treatment is the, about the same. Lumbar puncture to analyze cerebrospinal fluid is done when the patients have a highly aggressive lymphoma like a Burkitt's lymphoma, or when the patients have aggressive lymphoma like a diffuse large vessel lymphoma, when they have a bone marrow involvement or paranasal nasopharyngeal or testis involvement. The PET CT is the best imaging study in uh, staging and uh, assessing the uh, uh, tumor response after treatment. Most lymphomas are fluorodeoxyglucose avid, but the, some endolymphomas are not, like a marginal zone lymphoma, small lymphocytic lymphoma, mycosis, fungoides, uh, or Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia. So those patients need to have a CT scan. MRI to check the uh, brain or CNS involvement. Echo and the MOGA scan to check the heart function before the uh, cardiotoxic doxorubicin. I like to mention that PET scan use the uh, Dubil scores uh, in, in their interpretation, assessing the response to the treatment. They have a score one to five, and one to three is a negative, four or five are positive. Uh, an arbor system is used for staging. Stage one, lymphoma involves the single lymph node regions. Lymph uh, stage two, uh, it involves the two or more lymph nodes on the same side of the uh, diaphragm. Stage three, uh, those lymphoma involvement across the uh, uh, diaphragm and stage four to the distant organ like a uh, liver or bone marrow. When the spleen is involved, we also add the S and the, when the patient have a B symptoms, we use the B. If it's not, then A. Diffuse large vessel lymphoma is the most common types accounting for 30% of all cases. Patients frequently have a B symptoms and the high LDH level, which is an adverse feature. PET scan is very sensitive to detect the bone marrow involvement in this lymphoma. So some patients may not need to have a bone marrow biopsy if the PET scan shows positive in the bone marrow involvement. A molecular subtyping by gene expression profiling or lymph CX assay is important because those two subtypes, germinal center B cell like and activated B cell like have a two different uh, behaviors. This germinal center B cell like subtype is a, have a better prognosis but uh, activate B cell like has a worse prognosis requiring more aggressive treatment. Germinal center B cell like subtype uh, has a BCL6 of expression, uh, and the activate B cell like subtype is involved in BCR signaling. Fish test can detect the uh, MIC BCL2 or BCL6 uh, rearrangement. And the, some lymphoma uh, cells have a two or three genes rearrangement. Uh, like a MIC plus BCL2 or BCL6. Those lymphomas are called double hit lymphoma, having poor prognosis. Some lymphoma cells have a MIC and the BCL2 expression without gene rearrangements. Those are called double expression lymphoma, uh, having poor prognosis, but still better than double hit lymphoma.
For the treatment of early stages, uh, we use the R chop for four cycles. R stands for rituximab, cyclophosphamide, doxorubicin, vincristine, and prednisone. The five year survival is 95%. Patients with adverse features like a bulky disease, normal uh, high LDH, or extra nodal disease, uh, R chop for six cycles, or R chop three cycles, followed by uh, radiation therapy. Their five year survival is 90%. If you want to refine the therapy, uh, risk adoptive therapies are used. Uh, PET scan is done to assess the disease response after three cycles of RCHOP. If PET negative, just one more cycle of RCHOP or 30 uh, gray uh, radiation therapy. If PET scan positive with a, a partial response, then three more RCHOP, total six cycles, or uh, uh, radiation therapy with a little bit more boost. If the positive and the very extensive disease, then biopsy is recommended. If the biopsy is negative, just treat it as a partial response. If it's positive, then treat it as a refractory disease with a autologous stem cell transplantation, or CAR T therapy, or clinical trials, or even allogeneic transplantation. Patients with a bulky disease a tumor size over 10 cm are charged for six cycles followed by radiation therapy, or uh, risk adoptive therapy with the uh, PET assessment after six cycles. For the advanced stages, RCHOP 6 cycle is the standard. Their prognosis is different depending on the uh, types. The germinal center B cell subtype has a 5 year survival 80%. Activate B cell subtype has a 60%. Double hit tumor has only a 30%. Double expression about 50%. So the uh, adding some other drugs like lenalidomide, uh, velcade, or ibrutinib uh, uh, yield the uh, better uh, results, but with a more toxicity. Upfront autologous stem cell transplantation is not proven for this kind of tumor. For bulky disease, RCHOP six cycles plus uh, minus uh, radiation therapy. Maintenance rituximab after RCHOP improved the disease-free survival, but not overall survival. Follicular lymphoma is second most common lymphoma, but it's the most common of the indolent lymphoma. 90% have a translocation 1418, leading to overexpression of BCL2. Follicular lymphoma has a three grades, grade one, two, three. And the grade three has a grade three A and the grade three B. Grade three B is considered as aggressive lymphoma and treated as such. The so stage one follicular lymphoma is curable with radiation therapy. Observation is an option. Patients with a stage two, three, or four are treated when they are symptomatic. What symptoms? Pain and pressure or compromise of organ functions by bulky or progressive disease. B symptoms, anemia or thrombocytopenia. You can use rituximab alone for four cycles or rituximab with the uh, chemotherapeutic agents, bendamustin, RCBP, RCHOP, even R-lenalidomide. Observation is an option if not symptomatic. Maintenance therapy with rituximab every two months for two years improve disease-free survival, but not overall survival, but at the, at the expense of a higher uh, infection. For relapsed or refractory disease, chemoimmunotherapy or single rituximab again or radioimmunotherapy, even autologous stem cell transplantation can be used. But when they recur within two years after chemo or one year uh, with a single rituximab therapy, uh, the prognosis is, is poor. As we mentioned that uh, grade 3B, regardless of stage, is considered as aggressive lymphoma and treated uh, with the RCHOP. Interestingly, hepatitis C infection and the uh, uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma patients respond with the antiviral therapy in a majority of cases. To predict the prognosis, follicular lymphoma international prognosis index 1 or 2 have been used, but because the age is not a really good prognostic index, we use the PRIMA PI system. They use the beta-2 microglobulin and the bone marrow involvement status. The low-risk patients have a normal beta-2 microglobulin and the no bone marrow uh, involvement. The intermediate risk patients have a normal beta-2 microglobulin, uh, but have a, a bone marrow involvement. High risk patients have a beta-2 microglobulin over uh, three milligram per liter, regardless of the bone marrow status. The five-year event-free survival 
The low risk has a 77%, intermediate 57%, and high risk 44%. The event-free survival uh, is different from over su overall survival. Overall survival is much better than this. More uh, non-hostile lymphoma subtypes will be presented uh, in a week or two. Thank you for watching.